Hey guys. Yeah, today is the 4th of November. It is Saturday, and yes, I am off today. It's one of the two Saturdays I have in the, off in this month. Uh, but I thought I'd come here and do something I haven't done in a while, and that is a DVD Blu-ray update. And to basically say I've done very well right now, it would be an understatement. <laughs> So there are some DVDs and there are some Blu-rays. A majority of them are a majority of them are Blu-ray, and there are some DVDs. Now, just in case you're wondering, um, I do plan to get MLP Season Six on DVD when it comes out this week. I don't know if it'll be available at my job or if it'll be available through Amazon. Well, it's going to be through Amazon, but still, I'm going to try to get it either way. But with that said. Uh, with that said, I thought I'd come out here and, like I said, do this DVD Blu-ray update. Uh, like I said, there's more DVDs than Blu—I mean, more Blu-rays than DVDs. But we're going to start off with a few right now. Uh, this first one, I've talked about it already. In fact, I think I've shown it. Is the this one is actually—it's going to be hard to believe, but this is actually right there if you can read it My Little Pony the movie the 2017 one this is the official leak this is the uh, leak that they talked about where it got leaked online and basically it's the, basically it's the same thing that you would see in theaters uh, long story short from what I understand from what I've read somebody got a hold of the master copy which is kinda like a USB drive or something like that and they use that to upload the film and leak it online. So basically, this is exactly what you would get officially on DVD and Blu-ray in the next uh, couple of months, which I still plan to do. Which I still plan to do, but uh, yeah, this is the actual movie. You know, there's no hard cabinets to it. There's no uh, wording on the bottom of it or anything like that. This is the actual movie. So. Yeah. So yeah, My Little Pony the movie, the 2017 one, the official leak, if you will. I did add some other things on there, like I added on the making of as well, courtesy of YouTube, as well as Sia's rainbow video, which I'm pretty sure are both going to be on the official release as well yeah, next year. Uh, speaking of DVDs, I have officially started, or at least trying to start, my... Um, holiday, my traditional holiday DVD sets or DVDs. Uh, these right now, these first two are Halloween related. As far as I know, these are the first two this year. And these are Halloween related. So these got mostly Halloween stuff on them. I think I got one more Halloween thing I got to put on there, but that's going to probably be put alongside something else that deals with, that deals with Christmas and all that. So. Yeah, we have the official holiday. I'm officially starting my holiday tradition DVDs. So that's done. So those are on the way. Those are the first two, I should say. Speaking of DVDs, I bought this at my job. I think for about five dollars. Uh, this I bought it for my mom. This is Carol plus two. The original queens of comedy. This is basically. Carol Burnett and Lucia Ball um, working together, and it, it includes Carol and Lucy's classic TV special, first time on t DVD, plus Carol's Tony Tony nominated Once Upon a Mattress. and. Uh, Guests include Bernadette Peter, Zero Mustel, and others. So basically, this. So, yeah, I got that for my mom, so I'm sure she'll take time to watch it down the line. The other DVD I just recently got yesterday, and that is an old fashioned. Thanksgiving, an old-fashioned Thanksgiving, uh, which is based on a short story by Louise 
May Alouette, the author of Little Women. So we have an old-fashioned Thanksgiving, released and distributed by Affirm Films. So, yeah, we got that. I haven't opened it yet. I'm probably going to open it later. But yeah, we have an old-fashioned Thanksgiving. I got that for my mom as well. And that pretty much takes care of the Blu-rays. I mean the DVDs, I should say. Speaking of the Blu-rays, we're going to get into those right now. You see, I'm going to make sure I got everything here. I think I'm missing one or two. Hold on. Yeah, I'm missing one or two. <laughs> Trying to make sure. First one up um, is one I've been wanting to get. People have said it's very good. I got Kong Skull Island. So we got Kong Skull Island, which is pretty neat. This is basically part of the um, monster universe. Not the dark universe that Universal's doing, but the monster universe like with King Kong, Godzilla, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> Excuse me there. And I guess there's even talk now that they want to try to incorporate Pacific Rim into into the mix. So I guess that may happen, I don't know. But yeah, we have Kong Skull Island. Which is pretty neat. Next up we have Ghost in the Shell. Yes. I ended up getting the live action version of Ghost in the Shell. So there we go. And it comes along with a bonus digital HD for Eon Flux. So, yeah, I also get Eon Flux along with that. So how about that? It's pretty cool. And this is one of the last slipcovers they had there. Last ones that they had with the slipcover. So, pretty cool. The next step through the mail, I ended up getting Batman, Mask of the Phantasm. First time it's been on Blu-ray. So, Mask of the Phantasm. And then, along with that, I got Howard the Duck. So, I basically, the first, I basically ended up getting the first real Marvel movie ever theatrically released 30 plus years ago. <laughs> so, there we go. The next up, I ended up getting this as well. Wonder Woman. Yes, this is a Walmart exclusive. Uh, it includes a bonus scene not seen in theaters. And you can only get this at Walmart because it comes, if you open it up, just like they did with the, um, uh, the, uh, the series when they were re-releasing it into... Just like they did with the Linda Carter series when they re-released it to promote the movie, it does come with a tiara. Yes, it comes with a tiara. I was actually telling my mom maybe she can wear this <laughs> for um, for Halloween. And of course, on the inside you have the Blu-ray, of course. And yeah, I did already open it, so you have the Blu-ray. And the DVD. I can just uh, keep that open.
video. We got Wonder Woman. So now I got Man of Steel, Dawn of Justice, and this. So, pretty cool. Next up, we have the Diamond, the not Diamond, but the Walt Disney Signature Collection, the Circle of Life edition of the Lion King. Yeah. And it's kind of appropriate I'm showing this right now since they got the cast out now. Announced, since they got the cast announced for the live action film in 2019. And it does come with a limited edition film frames. So, that's pretty cool. I, I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, it comes with a limited edition film frame. So, yeah, we have Lion King. Pretty cool. And like I said, this is part of the signature collection, the Walt Disney Signature Collection. It's called the Circle of Life Edition. Pretty cool. Now, just recently, if unless I skipped a few things, which I hope I didn't. I don't think I did. Recently, as, as, as in yesterday, we have some new additions as well. I actually had this in my Amazon queue, but then I saw my job had it. So we have the 75th anniversary edition. 75th anniversary edition of Holiday Inn. And so it's 75 years. It includes the color version, includes the color version and the all-new Broadway musical. So in other words, you get to see the Broadway musical um, as well. Yeah, it's a, it's a, basically it's a bonus disc in here. So you get the black and white, you get the original and the color versions, as well as on the secondary disc you get the Broadway musical. So that's pretty cool. And I like how it's kind of got a glittery uh, in brass right there, so that's pretty cool. And then you got it right there, so it's really nice to have. And it's like an in brass on the side as well. So, pretty cool. Would recommend getting it for your holiday collection. Next up, uh, my store started doing this. I don't know if any other retailers are doing it. Uh, but first, before I get into that, well, actually, I'll get into that first, but uh, like I said, I don't know if my other jobs are doing this, other companies are doing this, but my my job is, we have the collector's edition of the Karate Kid 1 and 2, the original Karate Kid 1 and 2. We don't have 3, I don't know why they didn't add 3 in there, you have to get that, I guess, individually, but we've got Karate Kid 1 and 2. How about that? Yeah, Karate Kid 1 and 2. So, it's pretty neat. Basically, it's both Blu-rays that just put together like this. So, it's really nice. So, you got the Karate Kid 1 and 2. And then, along with it, I guess because... Well, I guess this is a Sony thing. It's a Columbia TriStar Sony thing. We have the 25th, the 20th anniversary edition the 20th anniversary anniversary edition excuse me there we have the 20th anniversary edition of bad boys that's right 20 years since the original bad boys came out and for the first time on blu-ray we have the we have bad boys 2 so yeah, we have Bad Boys and Bad Boys 2 in a collector set. Like I said, first time I think Bad Boys 2 has been on Blu-ray and both fully remastered. So, yeah. 20th anniversary was 2015. So, I guess, uh, so yeah, there you go. Um, So yeah, it's pretty cool to have. I've had, I was actually thinking of trying to get both of these through Amazon, but now since my job put it out, I was like, oh, screw it, I'll just get it with a discount. So there you go, got Bad Boys 1 and 2. 
Now, I also ended up getting, and I know some people will be like, why did you even get this? Well, I got the other four, I might as well get this one. <laughs> and literally, I do have the other four. So why not get this one? We have, trying to make sure, yeah, we have Transformers The Last Night. That's right. I ended up getting it. I didn't get the, I didn't get the VR. Here's the thing, they had a couple of versions, a couple of uh, collector's editions with this. They still do, in a sense. One with the, like, the little VR glasses that you stick your, uh, camera, your phone camera on. They had those, and then they had some with some die-cast cars, so, yeah. They had a lot of those, but I just opted to go with this. It's a lot easier and cheaper. So, yeah, we have Transformers The Last Night, which many people don't like, and I probably can understand why it is. But, um... I don't know, I think it's just because I'm a fan, I grew up on Transformers, and I'm willing to give anything Transformers a chance, so. <laughs> yeah, I got ended up getting last night, um, yesterday. And then speaking of movies, added got the newest addition to my Marvel Cinematic Universe collection. We have Spider-Man Homecoming. It's pretty cool. Yeah, we have Spider-Man Homecoming on, uh on Blu-ray. And I like how they did the back here. This is really interesting. I don't know if you guys kind of figured this out. You have Spider-Man like that, but the only way you can read, read the text is to turn it upside down. So, that's kind of cool how they did that. But yeah, I ended up getting, finally, Spider-Man Homecoming on Blu-ray. So, it's pretty cool. And then, last but not least, I saw this on my birthday. I wanted to see Homecoming, but ironically, it wasn't at a time that was good. But it was good for anybody. Basically, the showtime wasn't good for it. So we, I saw this instead with my family, and I'm glad I did. It's pretty good. And it completes the collection, as far as I know, of the recent Planet of the Ape movies. Of course, we're talking about War of the Planet of the Apes. That's right, we've got War of Planet of the Apes. Very critically, highly acclaimed. Um, a lot of people just love it. And I would not be surprised this gets a nomination for Best Picture uh, next year at the Oscars. So, yeah, I ended up getting War of the Planet of the Apes. So, pretty cool. Uh, but overall, I don't think I've missed anything here. Overall, that's all I could say for my 11 for 2017 uh, DVD Blu-ray update. Let me know what you guys think down below. Comment if you like. And I'm out.